it really answers both. I think you should always be learning. I mean. Kim leads worship and she doesn't play an instrument, but it's hard. So I think that that's the number one thing is that. Phil Driscoll said it best. He says, in order for me to really follow the Holy Spirit more, I keep my craft to constantly growing at a level so that when it grieves on, on me to do something, I know what I'm going to do and I can actually do it. So it really depends on how deep you want to get in this thing. Uh, there's no really right answer. It's just, do you, you know, if you're having a problem with that, I would suggest doing some music theory. With these guys in the band, it is awesome because literally, I'll get up to the worship and um, I'll be like, okay, hey, we're going to change the key today from A to A flat without a chord chart. And these guys don't even have to think about it. And they do, do it automatically. So it really helps, let me tell you. So. Pat, when you're, when you, what we're doing with our worship team now is we're trying to establish something. It's not set yet, but we're trying to establish something in our corporate big worship team at our church of the, the, a skill level. Like everybody, in order to be on our team, has to know this stuff musically. Because for so long in church, it's like, well, you'll work because your time schedule says you'll work, or, you know what I mean? So having that so that it's everybody, this is what we have to know. You have to know how to play in all these keys and, you know, whatever. But for you, you know, if this is, like you said, something you want to get into, you need to take lessons because it's only going to make you better and help you understand it and take the anxiety away. Sometimes, though, I will say this. Um, I will say this. And I, I, I don't, I think it's important that I say this. Sometimes the theory and all that stuff can get in the way sometimes because we're thinking more. It's like learning how to worship. How do you really learn how to worship? I mean, really? The more you learn about worship sometimes, the less you actually really genuinely worship. So sometimes the theory stuff can get in the way. You know, like technically I'm supposed to play this chord or this lick, but really you need to play what you feel. But, you know, you know what I'm saying? So you can't be ruled by the book. But the book needs to really help you follow the Holy Spirit. So, please, let's do this.